see I just removed the last bolt from the water pump I'm getting ready to remove the water pump but uh, these BMW water pumps are pretty notorious for actually getting stuck so I'm having a little bit of trouble to uh, get this one removed uh, I thought a good idea would be to try to prize it out with a screwdriver and tap it with a hammer just having absolutely no luck um, there's also two bolt holes on the top and bottom that you can use but those weren't working for me so what I decided to do now was break out the breaker bar and use the leverage off the front cover and prize the water pump out so after I got that out I inspected the pump and seen that the fins were really really torn up as you guys can see and I was lucky to get any cooling so now I'm getting ready to remove the support um, mounting bracket for the radiator. Um, once I get the radiator out, I can drain it and flush it. Then I can get that new expansion tank in and get ready to reinstall it. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you a little bit more into the project. Uh, basically, I have my intercooler set up back here. Um, a very ingenious way of making a bracket to hold the intercooler. Uh, it's a great design that my fab guy came up with. Basically, we ended up uh, cutting a piece of aluminum and then bending it to the contour of the bumper and then mounting that. I'm thinking about uh, doing an electric fan setup but I'll also need a smaller uh, fan to run the AC for the AC condenser. Uh, in this application, the best type of fan to use would be a puller fan because it would definitely move a lot more air and that would be the best and most efficient. Get the area for the thermostat cleaned up as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I'm gonna get some brake parts cleaner and clean it up a little bit more. But this is where my bolt broke. So that bolt right there, I gotta pull that out. Um, thanks to the people that worked on this car beforehand. So now I gotta get that out. And then I have to flush out the radiator so that I make sure that there's nothing in there. But for the most part, everything else looks good on it the fins look good so once i flush it out i should be good and ready to all right just to show you guys really quickly this is the water pump that i pulled out brand new gates water pump as you can see the bottom half of the fin broken completely apart i drive this car daily so i'm completely surprised that i didn't overheat just idling and it took a couple pounds of boost um, actually even turn the or set the temperature up um, right here is the gates water pump you see it's built a lot more rigid sturdy but um, again this is the problem that I'm dealing with for today okay so gotta give a shout out to my uh, dog Stan because he uh, gave me a ride to Ace Hardware so I could uh, get some new bolts so I got some stronger bolts and then um, also uh, I got a vice grip and he let me borrow his torch so I could warm the bolt up and now it's loose so woohoo we are ready to go. So once I get this thing out I can start fitting back up.
I'm so glad this thing came out. Again, make sure you use the right bolts in um, these things because then you have problems like this. This one, uh, engine block heats up, cools down, goes through a cycle of expanding and shrinking. And then you have issues like this with uh, weaker bolts being broken. So, finally, got the bolt out. Looks like the, they just tightened the bolt too tight. So, yay, we're good. Uh, you guys better look real quick. And then what I decided to do is go to Ace Hardware and order some stronger bolts. The ones that are that broken one that came out, I'm not sure what strength it is, but the original ones are 8.8s. And I decided to get some 10.9s. So should be all good to fit back up.